Why team captain for World Vision? I'm not gonna lie, it is difficult being a, a team captain. Um, probably because of expectations that you have. You formulate all these expectations of how things are going to be and they don't necessarily work that way. And, and then you just have to deal with the uh, various life scenarios that people have and, and just accept that sometimes things are not going to be what you want. And, but they're doing the very best that they can. And this year our team um, did fantastic overall in fundraising. And in addition to fundraising, it was also just the, the true heart for the cause. And I think that's what affected the fundraising, the, the sincerity of caring about changing children's lives. And I think um, that is what uh, was really important to a lot of our team members. Additionally, um, this year a lot of our team members really were, were parents and um, Awana leaders and and they understand that leading by example is so important. Uh, they want children to understand that this course was painful, this was difficult, but it's uh, a sacrifice and you know we're the hands and feet of Jesus so um, we're you, you know we present our bodies as a living and holy sacrifice that which is acceptable to God and that is without you know whimpering and that is without a lot of complaint and to to do something like this and to see the magnitude of what it is I think a lot of parents get it that this um, it has a lifetime impact for their children to to know um, something like their parents completed a marathon and why did they do it? So the reason why I am participating as, as a team captain is it's a small price to pay in consideration for the good that it can do. If I have to be the person who organizes um, us having a team and in the results it winds up being that we exceed we that we raise thousands of dollars like we did this year we're over 5,000 which is incredible which means that we're I think we're close to maybe a hundred children's lives that are going to be changed in different parts of of the world children that we'll never meet but it's not about that it's about the fact that their lives and their communities will be changed by the fact that we simply walked, we simply were not afraid to ask other people to donate.